Welcome back home, Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. I'm Eric Stromer. Got to have some Adam Sandler. Yeah, the you know? sweet sounds of Adam Sandler. <laughs> Well, we want to kind of keep you in a good mood because there is a lot to do between now and this upcoming yeah. Thursday. Boy, we have our checklist. We got to get it. Yep. Now, as it turns out, from the butterball folks, we have to start throwing our turkey yesterday if we have a frozen turkey, if you want to do it in the or fridge. We can, or you can do it that day of. If just you know, You'll be sweating it and you have five hours, but you can do it. You know. That's right. But let's talk about the other thing that's going to make you kind of freak out, and, and that's the in-laws are over or some near and dear friends, and they have an oops on your linen you table. You mean old Grandpa Shaky Hand as he's bringing the gravy into his mouth. On the linen. Right on the linen tablecloth. Tablecloth. Oh, and man. you just had it dry clean, and it's white. You know? That's right. And so, but hey, not to worry because there's all kinds of solutions. And we're going to go through it right now because, you know, that way if someone does spill the wine or the gravy, you're going to say, no worries. No worries. I got it covered. We've got, Don't we've worry. Got be happy. That's it. <laughs> so let's talk about it. So first, let's talk about what would you say is the, the number one stain on that linen tablecloth on Thanksgiving Day? I, I'm going to have to go with red wine. Okay. You know? Don't you think? It could be. I mean, yeah, because it's right there, and you know, you're you're talking and you're gesturing, right? You're gesturing, holding you're, that thirteen dollar bottle of wine. I mean, and I, yep, yeah, that's right, and it goes right on that right on that tablecloth. What do you do? Well, you just basically say, "Go away, go away, little <laughs> wet red wine stain." <laughs> when it com- I mean, when it comes to red wine, it's basically no. the sooner you can work on the stain, the club, better. Club soda is always a good solution, right? That's absolutely right. Yeah. I think club soda. Oh, you know what else is kind of fun? White wine. Now here, if you brought a if you brought a bottle of white and a bottle of red, see now all of a sudden you're not only helping to enhance the mood of the party, but now you also are going to neutralize the red wine stain on that tablecloth. You can come to the rescue. That's right. So cu- club soda or white wine, but you don't want to you know you don't want to just rub it in. You want to just gently spray it on and 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 then kind of blot it gently around the outside edges. Right. And and after the guests leave, you can get that tablecloth off. And then hydrogen peroxide uh, and a little bit of soap works great to get a dried red wine stain. Oh, good. That's a, that's a great tip. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else? How about the white, how about the stain that's not only, it's spilled on the tablecloth, but now it's gone over into the carpet. Same thing? Same exact Hydrogen thing. peroxide? Yep. Hydrogen peroxide and water. And you, and you also want to make sure, too, you, you may want to test a little area if it's a color on the carpet that it doesn't alter the the dye or the hue of mm. the carpet. So you, you do a little test first somewhere else before you really it'll get light, it. Because it'll lighten it. It's bleached. It'll, it'll lighten, lighten it up. It. Yeah, it'll lighten it up a bit. Well, I mean, so. if it lightens those teeth of yours like you do every day. Well, and also <laughs> with the tanning, boy, they sure do look white, don't they? Thank you. How about, <laughs> how about white uh, or just regular, yeah, white vinegar and water and, and soap? That's always a, a good solution for, for red wine stains, huh? That's exactly right. Also, another thing that's great, for example, if you're going to serve a brisket along with that turkey or some kind of meat, you know, meat juice is very difficult to get out of linen. Because of the oils, That's too. exactly right. So you always want to do cool water, never hot, because if you do hot water, it sets the stain, it dries, and it's much more difficult to get rid of. Now, I'd heard, you know how it's, it's I guess, not good luck, it's bad luck to spill the salt, but it is good luck to spill the salt on, on the red wine stain. I guess in a pinch, if, if, if there is no solution around, just there's got to be some salt on the table, and you just kind of put a, a, a little thick layer, almost like you're making a paste, yeah, that's right. On top of the right. the red wine stain exactly. and it pulls it right up. And then I guess, well, this would be kind of subtle, but you bring out the vacuum. Yeah, <laughs> right in the middle, yeah. and, and not to make the person feel guilty or anything that they've you know, spilled the wine. That's <laughs> right. That's right. right there yeah. on top of it. So those are some good ideas for the red wine stain. There are also some products that are out there that I've tried store bought products, and I think they work pretty well. You know, what do you like? Um, the commercial red wine stain removers. Um, OxyClean is always a good one. And Resolve, I've tried both of those. Um, and then have you tried this Wine Away? It, it comes mm. in a little teeny bottle, and in fact, sometimes it's sold um, at places like Red Carpet Wine, you know, because, hey, if they're going to buy the wine, they might spell it. And uh, it's made from fruit and vegetable extract, and you just kind of spritz this Wine Away right there on. It doesn't have any bleach in it. Right. But it has just the right amount of stuff uh, with that f- that fruit and vegetable extract, kind of like lemon juice, right, to kind of yep, right. neutralize. Now, the other thing, too, think about it. When you're setting your table, probably candles are going to be on the table. Oh, so, the wax? So the wax, uh-huh. when it drips down onto the tablecloth, here's what you do. You let the wax dry first, and then you can either use a butter knife that does not have any serrated aspect to it or a credit card actually works really well. 
and you just scrape that wax. Can right it be off. expired? Uh, it's better if it has some, some <laughs> juice left on it. Yeah, it'll it'll come off better. Yeah. Okay. No, but seriously, that works well. So get get that off first. The the big chunks of wax with the credit card or the butter knife. And then if you put some absorbent paper on either side of the tablecloth, then you can iron it gently, you know, a couple of mm-hmm. times, a couple of passes, and the wax will actually leach into those absorbable towels that are on either side of that tablecloth. So that's generally something that freaks people out. But it's not See, to worry. It, we have an answer for you. And what about turkey gravy? Because that always would drive my mom nuts. Because, I mean, what is it? I guess we have these gravy boats sitting out on the... Uh, the dining room table, although a lot of times people have assembly buffet style and might already have the gravy on your, your dinner plate. Yeah, yeah. I right? like, I, I'm partial to serving in the kitchen and then let the yeah. people carry to the table. Go back and get the gravy in the kitchen. Yeah, gravy boat, Mess it up boat. all you like out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. But not not <laughs> on my watch. Yeah. <laughs> but if you do have a gravy stand, what, what, do we, what do we do? I mean, I guess what? Warm water, maybe some, some bleach? Not warm. Let's do, Not warm no, for gravy? Let, no, we want to cool. We want cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Just lukewarm for, is better. Really? Okay. Yeah, because we don't want to set those stains again. The hot, the hot temperature is always an issue. Okay, okay. And maybe that's why it wasn't working for me because we would do like a little slightly warm. Okay, that's right. Don't do that. That's what right. if you have it on your clothing? Same thing, because I mean, it's inevitable. I wear white, and that's that means. Guess what? Bring on the stains. Bring on the gravy, <laughs> baby. I'm I'm here with my white dress. No, my I dad know. on on holidays would wear one of these napkin bibs. Have you seen those? Yeah, yeah. Where they button, it has like a little hole, and you can and you can attach it to your top button of the shirt, you know. Yeah, that's there. right. It's, it's a lobster <laughs> And you bib. just kind of cozy, exactly. You yeah, cozy up to the table and, you know, let it all fly, I guess. You know, you know what else is a great tip? I remember once years ago I was in a sushi bar and soy sauce was spilled. Oh, that's right. Remember that? Yes. I told you that story. Right. Di- guess what? White daikon radish. The root vegetable the, soaked the, it the, up yeah, like a sponge. You, that's exactly right. You just put the daikon radish right on the, the the soy sauce, pulls it, it leaches right up into the radish, takes on the color of, uh, of the uh, of the. Soy just make sauce. sure you know the person who has the stain. Um, otherwise, you start running up to. Well, it's called a, groping. With a radish, if you, if you, if you don't <laughs> not a not a good thing to do. Uh, what about? Let's see. How about some of the other cosmetics? Cosmetics might all of a sudden, like someone brings their lipstick to the dining room table, or somehow it's you know it's it's gotten on from their lips to the linen napkin, mm, right? Yeah. And it's that bright red lipstick, and it's now staining your beautiful linen fine uh, napkin. Well, what do you, what do you do? I guess you're going to use some stain remover, and and you can use again the paste. You can cr- kind of create of the detergent a nice little paste. But I would really, I would quickly just take the napkin and hide it. And I don't want to make my guests feel guilty. You know, doesn't it seem like it becomes a big scene? It kind of does. It's embarrassing. Yeah. You know what else you can use is a little bit of olive oil, right on that lipstick stain on the linen. Just go ahead and pour a little bit on on the tablecloth. Maybe rub it in with your fingers while you're mm-hmm. distracting them with. <laughs> you have such a nice top on tonight. Where did you get that? And you're frantically rubbing with the olive oil to try and prevent the stain from setting. Now, a lot of times we play games. We always play games on Thanksgiving, right? A lot of people will come over, and you might have a ballpoint pen with you because you're keeping score. Sure. And what if you are, you know, you've had a glass of wine, and you're, and now the game is on the dining room table with that linen tablecloth. And same thing, like if you get ink on your clothing, have you used hairspray? Hairspray. Yes. That, yeah, you told yeah, me that one. Yeah. I like that one. That worked out. Yeah. Because yeah. you know how much hairspray I'm, <laughs> I have in right now <laughs> to achieve this <laughs> bouffant hairdo that I'm wearing. But it seems that the aerosol kind works better than the, the pump kind. The pump kind doesn't work very well. No. I, I mean, not for the hair. I'm talking about for the stain. Oh, thank you. Yes. You're right. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so those are some stains. I mean, I, I think that we can just kind of take it in stride. White wine stain is club soda, right? That's not going to be as challenging as the red wine, but I love the idea of having the white wine to neutralize the red. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're ready for stains and we're ready for our turkey, and we have chosen the kind of wine we're going to bring. But up next, what about the turkey leftovers? Now, in our house, I always make homemade turkey soup the very next day. Do you ever do, you ever do that? You know, my, my dad always saves the carcass mm-hmm. for me to throw in a right? pot. Yeah, I've done it a couple of times. So I love it. yummy. Yes. And you got to have the turkey tetrazzini. Yes, here, Tetrazzini. <laughs> so we're going to talk about at least some family also favorites. Also, the turkey, the turkey club. The turkey what? The club turkey sandwich? club, yeah, I do that all the time. And how about turkey curry? Never had it. And turkey enchiladas. I know well, it sounds I'll really have. silly and nutty, no, but there's, that, that and when you great. go online, there are hundreds of things you can do with turkey. So don't think, oh my gosh, if I have one more turkey sandwich, I'm going to heave. There's a lot of yummy things to do. Uh, 
endless creative things. You know, I'm happen. actually I'm cooking too because one's for sandwiches only. You've got to. That's a yeah, smart thing to do. That's exactly what I do. And it's so inexpensive. Yeah. All right, coming up next, we're going to talk about some of our favorite turkey leftover ideas as we uh, count down to Thanksgiving Day. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, here to help you improve your home and your life on Home Wizards here on KFWB News.